Hi. So even though the weather looks amazing today, it's really really hot. Um, I think it's 31 degrees today. Um, generally, but the feeling temperature is much higher. But the weather looks beautiful. I'm literally waiting for fall. So I think the fall uh, season is kind of close because these uh, leaves on this plant, some of them you can see that they started browning a little bit. So you know that the fall fall season is coming and fall semester is also beginning. I find it really amazing that the seasons coincide with the semesters so perfectly. Like literally when summer begins, that like the day the summer holidays begin, that's the time when the, the season changes exactly on the same day. And then again when spring is here, you, you can actually see that the day the spring semester begins, that's the exact day when uh when the season is changing and again for winters it's the same like the winter vacation will start and uh the weather starts getting chillier and more snow so it's it's really amazing how the semesters are made so hi my name is Shriparna, Shriparna Sarkar. I'm a PhD student at the University of Delaware and I'm doing linguistics. I'm going to start my fifth year from September 1st. And right now we only have like a few more days of summer left. So this hopefully will be my last summer as a student and next summer I'll probably graduate or maybe next fall. I don't know. So we'll see how that goes. I'm currently uh, running my experiments and um, writing a part of my dissertation introductions and all those parts which don't need the results yet. So, uh, and in linguistics, I'm into phonetics. So phonetics is basically the study of speech sounds. So I've done a couple of studies in uh, speech sounds of different languages. I worked on English, I worked on Bengali, that's my native language, I'm from India. And uh, I've also worked on Quechua, uh, that's the la indigenous language of Peru. Uh, in South America and it's a beautiful language. Uh, maybe you've heard a bit of Quechua if you're not very familiar with the language. It's the language that is used in the lang in the adventures of Dora. That's a ch children's movie. It's a good movie. So um, yeah, I don't know why I just literally stood up and started recording myself. I guess because so I'm doing this basically for my dad. So it's been a while since I've seen him. Uh, so I went to Calcutta in 2018 December or 2019 January uh, last and then uh, my dad came at the end of 2019. Uh, we had a really good time in the U in the US in different parts of the US. We went to New York, DC, New Orleans, uh, Philadelphia, mostly the East Coast and then New Orleans because I had a conference there. So my dad accompanied me and we stayed a few days extra and explored the area. So yeah, it's been a while since I've been to Calcutta or India in general. So uh, I really miss home and my dad misses me too, I'm sure. Of course he does. I, we talk to each other like twice a day for, for a good amount of time each time. So yeah, so we do that. So this vlog is basically to help him miss me a little less. And I'm really doing this for the first time. Like I've never, so I've spoken in front of cameras before. So in my, oh, I did a job for a few months before coming to the US. Uh, that was in 2015. And there I had to uh, kind of speak in front of a camera and teach different languages. But uh, it's been a while since I've spoken to a camera before. So I'm doing this after a while. But, but yeah, I mean, no, I did speak to a ca Yeah, I did for some other conferences because most of the conferences have gone online now. So we have to 
um, either record our voices next to our presentations or just do the whole talk on Zoom or record our whole talk on Zoom and then send it to the conference committee. So, um, so they just play it in sequence. So I did speak on a camera in front of a camera before, but they, they were kind of scripted and I practiced a lot. They were not spontaneous like this. So this is different. Uh, I don't feel awkward or anything. It's just I have short arms and I'm, I'm not very good at holding the camera at the right angle. So I'm going to try my best and I got this new uh, phone case a few days ago which has this kind of a strap so it, it might keep coming in front of the camera a few times but I'll try to be as neat and organized as possible. So it's a little past 9 a.m. now. I'm going to start, uh, well not start, I started my work at 6, <laughs> at 6 a.m. but um, I'm going to resume work and i'll see you right before lunch time i have a meeting i have a few meetings actually before lunch so i have my dissertation meeting at 11 30 so i'm going to prepare for that now with my for, for, to meet my advisor and after that i'll see you and tell you how my meeting went so see ya That's the breakfast. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and do the rest of the work. So I had my meeting with my advisor and that went pretty well. It was quick and she basically just approved my prospectus that I'll be defending in a few weeks, I guess. Uh, so I'd been working very hard on it and now it's there almost and um, I'm just about to finish my dissertation this year and hopefully it will go well. It's been a lot of hard work. The journey has not been very easy, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would not trade this experience for anything else. I just loved it. I think this these five, four years so far have been the best four years of my life and I'm just enjoying this time of my life a lot i love research i love linguistics and i can talk about it forever like day and night i mean if you guys want to know about linguistics and what's phonetics and my experience in the u.s as a linguistic student you can please write to me and i'd love to talk about it i know linguistics is not a very um popular uh course to study. I studied um, linguistics in my undergrad as well as for masters. So my journey has been for a while with this field now. So I, I really love it. Uh, but I don't know, many people think it's not lucrative and you might not get good jobs with it. So you might think that, okay, it's not that useful, but it's very interesting. And the thing about research is, you know, you don't think so much about making money while um, working on research. So you run experiments, you have your research question that you really, really want to find out. And those Eureka moments, like really those moments of success when your results line up with your hypotheses or maybe not, it does, sometimes they don't, but that finding, the understanding about that little part of your field it's precious it's just precious to us I mean I'm sure other researchers will say that as well so it doesn't really matter whether it, you get a lot of money or not like you know during the PhD you don't get you don't become very rich or something it's not a, a part of life that will give you a lot of wealth right now but later it it can but overall whether it brings a huge amount of wealth or not the satisfaction of research is different it's just uh, like i said it's precious i can't explain it in words and also you stay like you work with people who think alike who work on the same uh, similar kinds of uh, things and they think 
in kind of like similar ways you are with like people with less conflict in your like of course people are always negating each other's studies people are not always um, agreeing with uh, the findings or the methods or even the a research topic but that doesn't matter what matters is we are all striving towards getting achieving the same goal and when we when we get that it's worth much more than a million dollars so that's that's what i feel today uh, even though i have not got all my results but my pilot results are kind of lining up with what i've wanted uh, or what i had hypothesized so i'm very happy about that um apart from that um it is about to be one and i'm going to have my lunch i had my breakfast a bit late well not late i try to have a long uh i i try to have a very long fast between my dinner and my breakfast so i usually try to have 15 hours gap so 15 or I, yesterday i had my um dinner a bit late because i went to pick up a colleague from the airport uh, so i had my dinner late but uh, normally i have my dinner around 4 between 4 to 5 p.m. so then i can have my breakfast around um 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning so that's that keeps me very full and active throughout the day i don't want, i don't like eating a lot throughout the day i just like to have solid meals uh, well spread apart and um, lunch is not one of the favorite meals of my day and breakfast is my favorite meal of the day and uh, dinner i just have dinner for this for the heck of it basically because i have to i don't enjoy having dinner that much actually i'm not that much of a foodie because uh, it's funny because on instagram i have a food blog and like food, a, a page dedicated to just food and eating and different uh, restaurants around this area or like exotic food or pretty food different kinds of food of different cuisines but i usually just order them click pictures eat a little bit of it like nibble on it and then bring it home and then have it for the rest of the week so i'm i don't eat a lot and i i'm not i don't enjoy food the process of eating that much so i kind of try to put it off as much as possible so but i i really enjoy food cooked by me if i cook something i think that's the best food in the world it's better than all the michelin stars so i let when i cook the days i cook i eat uh, like a normal human being but other days i don't like to eat that much but today I'm going to eat uh, palak paneer that I had made the uh, day before yesterday. And I had made dal when uh, my husband Anupam was visiting uh, last weekend. And also some brown rice. So um, we'll talk after lunch. So I went to pick up my friend Kamkali yesterday from the airport. She's here from Myanmar. She got me this beautiful bag for picking her up it's so stunning i just love it i've never had a velvet bag before and i and i personally love embroidery a lot work like this is amazing i just love it and it looks so good i mean i've never had a black bag i know it's a bit weird but i don't buy black bags so much because i don't know they don't black doesn't look very good on me so i don't buy a lot of black clothes or bags the only black thing that i buy are black shoes and that's it so i just love this beautiful bag and i hope i get to see and learn more of burmese from her i'm so happy she could make it she had a very long flight and she was very tired yesterday so we didn't get a chance to chat much but i'm looking forward to it in the coming semester so I'm having my lunch and working on my lesson plan for next week. So this semester I'm teaching one undergraduate class. It's called Introduction to Linguistics, Ling 101. And so, uh, so I teach on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So for this semester, our class is beginning on a Wednesday. So I'm preparing the lesson to teach them. Um, I really like teaching this class and 
it's it's a good break from my research and I get to meet a lot of young people like you know undergrads they're fun so I like doing that and yeah so I'm just review I, I've made a few slides day before yesterday I'm reviewing them and adding things removing certain things so I hope it will come out well I've taught this class many times before so I do have some existing slides so I can use those uh, slides for this class as well. So I hope it will go well. <laughs> and um, I think that's pretty much all that I had to show today because I'll be working. I don't have a very happening life. I'll be, I'll just be working on this and eating my lunch on the side. I'm having some brown rice and uh, I had some dal from before and I have uh, some palak paneer and some cucumbers. So I'm just going to have that for lunch and in a few hours I'll have dinner because my lunch and dinner are very close together and then I'm going to just work out a little bit, walk and uh, refresh myself and then come back and prepare for tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!